it's past these prime here and welcome back to Frostpunk 2. Um, so, in the last video, I think we were trying to work out how to do this. Uh, this other settlement thing. Because I'm really not sure what we're doing. I assume we have to build this settlement up. I don't understand what else you would do. So I think we need to get to that, but... We probably also should get to a few other things. So, actually, do we have... Oh, did I just... Oh, don't tell me I just spent all the prefabs. So we need prefabs. 150. Hmm. Okay. So we, we are making prefabs, or are we transferring? I can't remember what the hell we were doing. It's been a week. Uh, okay. Let's do tutorial. We've got to propose something, do we? Workplaces determine their own working hours. What else do we have? Contagion prevention. Hang on. Let's get out of this. Let's have a look. Did we, did we promise somebody something? Uh, wouldn't it say up here or does it not? I mean, let's propose it. Oh, most people are against. Hmm. Uh, they're against. They're mostly for. They're for. So they're the only ones that'll negotiate. Vote for blasting coal, mechanized sawmill, massive sawmill loading frozen wood directly into mulching machines that separate usable materials from waste product byproducts. Uh, chemical hot house. I don't know. Let's do that one. The delegates have spoken. The law takes effect. All right, now we have to research mechanized sawmill. Hydraulic pump jack. New building proposed for Frostlanders. Back, but that's fine. Where's the oh, I'm in the wrong tab. Mechanized sawmills, where are you? Here you are. Okay. 
Okay. Uh, facility injecting high pressure water into ground to speed up oil extraction, causing minor impurities to seep into drinking water. Oh, that's nice. Do we actually have to build it? Alright, before we do that... Wait, we're not even in the right... Uh, what are we doing here? Nothing. So we can't build anything anywhere. Buildings and districts have their requirements represented in resources, workforce, or both. If those are not fulfilled, the district will cease to function and will become disabled. On the other hand, they also have their demand. This amount contributes to your overall demand in the city, meaning that if it's not fulfilled, it will increase your city's problems like cold or squalor. But it will not affect the district's output. The district will work the same as long as its requirements are fulfilled. Requirements are listed in the district panel. Keep in mind that you need to fulfill all of them to keep the district running. All factors that increase the city's demand are listed in the total demand section. This is dead. housing housing's done we've got food going how are we sitting we're not So that's minus 25. How 
can't even transfer prefabs. I was hoping to transfer prefabs. Oh, that sucks. So what do we, how do we do this then? So they do get... All of these are about to expire, which is really scary. Because what is that? Prefabs? Abe Chambers, 90, former shipwright, longing to join his wife and the beyond. 90 years old, 90 summers, well, winters more like. I've had a good life, I guess. Well, I've had a life anyway. Not everyone in the old Quineath crew can say the same. Uh, I'd always thought I'd be sharing my Liddy's grave, but now Pete's pressuring me to donate my body to the city. Apparently them doctors are using dead folks' skin to fix up frostbite or something. Can't they leave me alone? Haven't I been through enough? The lack of a law regulating funerals is causing tension to rise throughout the city. Well, that is unfortunate. Okay, we should be able to build. Extraction, right, we want prefabs for sure. Sorry, we don't have enough housing now. Since when? All right, slight interruption here. Unfortunately, at this point in the video, the uh, microphone, I don't know what happened, just stopped working and I recorded the rest of this video uh, talking and uh, nothing got recorded from my voice. So I am gonna sort of do a bit of a voiceover. You're gonna see me on the screen because it's unfortunately embedded in the video and my mouth is not gonna match what I'm saying, but I am going to try and recount what I was talking about and read the bits that I was reading the best that I can and I sincerely apologize I have no idea what happened because the mic was working and it just stopped and unfortunately the next video the mic didn't work for the entire video and I didn't realize either so annoying but here we go All right, harvesting areas can be found everywhere around the frostland they are alternative source of food Unlike outposts, harvesting areas do and don't need to be connected to the city by trail or skyway. They just need frostland teams to operate them to start providing food. You can research harvester hangers to increase the amount of food provided by harvesting areas. Okay, we've still got this oil cistern that we can't do. I think we'll work that out later.
and that's the food we're receiving from the fishing village coming to New London. We can change it to the other city if we want, but we're not going to because we don't need it in uh, the old one, old Dreadnought. So the others are all dangerous. That one's safe. We could do that one. And we do. We do do it. what we needed and we're running out of all our resources everywhere so I think we're going to do yeah we're gonna add a coal source now because obviously we're not producing enough And New Londoners demands met. The New Londoners are delighted you kept your word. They now look upon your rule more positively. And that gave us the hydraulic pump jack. Or was it the mechanized sawmill? Oh, it might have been this mechanized sawmill. Which we can add to our materials buildings to create a lot more materials. Okay, and now I actually realise that we can switch our industrial district over to the, whatever the vase thing is. I don't know what it is at the moment. It was on prefab. Um, and we can also expand the district. So if we do that, we actually get more a buildable slot, plus also um, greater output. Uh, yeah, I think I chose not to do it because we weren't producing enough materials. But now we are. Uh, we'll see. Maybe I will expand. Who knows? I can't remember. Yeah, we are short of housing. <laughs> the housing is an issue right now, so we're going to expand this one because the other ones have already been expanded fully. We're going to build another extraction for oil. Boost our oil production because we're already in minus 40 here. And I don't know. Yeah, we haven't even sent any to the other side yet. And we have nothing here to use any of these expansions. Thank you. 
Alright, so we're going to expand the industrial area, try and get that uh, vase item up. Whatever it is, I can't remember what the hell it's called. And we can also expand the coal extraction, which we don't do. I don't know. Do not waste time on... A rowdy funeral. No common rules. Steward, there was a shameful display during a wake yesterday. Some of the deceased's family wanted a traditional burial, while others complained about wasteful antics and said the body should be donated to further the city's health care. This could save people's lives was answered with, I won't risk my father's soul, and as people got more heated, they eventually came to blows. In the aftermath of the fight, the body disappeared, and each side suspects the other of foul play. Sadly, this is not an isolated incident. Maybe we need common rules to get everyone on the same page. The persistent lack of a law regulating funerals is causing tension to rise even further. We can commit. Uh, we need to reach... Yeah, we need to reach a citywide consensus. You will have 30 weeks to pass either the harvesting funerals or the ceremonial funerals. Which we are going to do. Uh, so, the deceased will harvest, be harvested and their healthy body parts used to support city health care. Unharvested remains will be incinerated and the ashes transferred to relatives. Research speed is slightly increased, disease is slightly decreased. And then the other one, bodies must be buried untouched after a traditional funeral to show proper respect to the departed. Relatives must be allowed to mourn with dignity. Trust loss resulting from death is decreased. Uh, so I think we're going to go with harvesting funerals. Yep. And uh, do we negotiate? No, we don't. So we just go for it. And we hear have success. Ye, hear ye, the delegate. Law takes effect. For some reason, the generator's been turned off. I think it might be because we ran out of oil. But now we have the oil back. Uh, it's fine. Yeah, we can't install any of those, but we've got to try before we work it out. We can do the hydraulic pump jack if we had enough heat stamps. We gotta put an extraction for prefabs over the other side to make sure we keep getting those. We could have put it on the other side where the housing is, but they would have complained about noise. For some reason I keep clicking on this frost 
breaking button when you're not meant to do that. You're meant to just click there. We're going to try and open up this other oil area so that we can extract that if we need to. And we'll adjust our transfers. So I was a bit confused with what this was doing at one stage. It sort of gave the impression that it was like a one-off transfer, um, but then it's not. It seems to be all the time. It's just that the quest only said transfer at least 75 oil output to New London, and we got 13 out of 75, so it says sounds to me like it's a total quantity like you know just send us 75 oil uh whereas they want whatever it is a constant stream of 75 oil which we work that out shortly when i go and do something to reduce the numbers and then see it's going from 13 down to 7 instead of adding it on to that anyway so we've unlocked a new area. This towering structure oft, often uh, attracts outcasts and scavengers who would rather live together in cold isolation than follow the laws of New London. The settlement has been in decline since the collapse of the observation tower. Some may be willing to reconsider their situation and join us in the city. Escort willing frostlanders to New London. Uh, then there's also convinced them all, which is grayed out. Come back later. We're going to come back because we don't need people. The jettisoned secondary engine of a dreadnought under its hull, we found a core, an irreproducible uh, component from before the frost that we can use to power our most advanced technology. Fissures in ice struck suggest the dreadnought traveled to the frozen bay a long time ago. Dismount on the wreck, we get two cores, and whatever. I think we do that. A mining complex inhabited by children a long time ago. Over the years, they grew older and became citizens of New London. The last miners were ordered home by the captain, but we know some coal remains in the shafts. The approach trail is in poor condition, but we've found a warehouse with prefabs the captain intended to use to improve it. We could take them or leave them in place if we want to use the mine again. Uh, if we take them, we get a few bits and pieces, or we can leave it, and yeah, we'll be able to mine it. And I'm pretty sure that's how we left it. We either left it that, or we did come back later. Find out in a second. No, we left it, and now we try to build a trail, which I don't think we get done this time. Pretty sure we can't afford it. Because I also need to take it to the other side of the city because that is the only place that has a logistics building to get that path into. Because I try here connecting on any side, but you can't do it. You have to connect to a logistics building. And it's on the other side of the city, which can't afford. Yeah, those red lines mean you can't afford it. <laughs> and it says cost not met. Uh, I didn't realize at the time, though. Until right near the end. And then I give up. Take note. A new rule enters into force. So 
So I'll do some frost breaking to try and get to that other logistics spot. In case we want to add another building to get more scout. Now, I think because we expanded it, it automatically puts the default production back to prefabs. So I've changed it back again. This resource is absolutely dead. Now we can get rid of the building. Alright, we're going to try and get down to this other oil source. In case we need to open that up. And now I can't do any more because we haven't got enough workers. We need 600. We've only got 200. Hiram Townsend, 39 Trapper, sparing a baby seal. Sorry little one, I had to take your mother. It was her time. But you're too small for my pile now. It would be a shame to deprive you of your life for so little meat. Go on, back in the water with you. One day we'll meet again. And I'll spare your children as I'll, I've spared you today. The city has made steps towards the adaptation cornerstone. Terminal patients are encouraged to maintain a healthy diet. Chances of a successful transplant depend on it. Alright, extract some more coal, is it? Just our transfers. Because we are taking too much oil now. And we can provide a lot more uh, materials back. After reaching the settlement heating idea in the heating category, outposts in Frostland can be turned into permanent settlements. This allows you to build a furnace to sustain a small but stable population, which will provide a permanent output of resources. To construct a settlement, you first need to connect your five scale ways. You also need sufficient resources like cores and prefabs. But keep in mind that establishing a settlement will require sending a certain portion of the city's population to uh, there. Settlements can be upgraded further with increase, which increase their output and makes them resistant to whiteouts.
All right. I think we, at this stage, I think I was confused with how this transfer thing was working. The oil, this was where I was working out. It's, now it's dropped to 7, slash 75. And the, the number they want is 75 in that transfer, which is like constantly sending it. Now I also worked out I could drop the housing district down because we actually had a surplus of housing. Uh, I think that does come back to bite me later because I forget to increase it <laughs> for a fair period of time. But, you know, it is what it is. So I really want to get the oil up somehow so that we can balance things out on each side but it's not working at the moment because we still we keep running out of heat stamps waiting to get to 180 heat stamps and then we can do it but London is calling Leonard Sutton 23 horologist repairing a watch imagine a society built on technological advancement on one upping inventions on pushing the boundaries of mechanical knowledge one day we could not only rebuild automatons but improve on their design make ones with more suited to our needs ones that never break down Oh, even one as small as a watch. I could be living in the city that pioneers these efforts one day. The city has made steps towards progress cornerstone. So we can add dust to coal mines to improve our coal output. Alright, so if we could try to connect... No, we can't afford it. Again, I still want to try to connect this outpost up and we can get coal coming in. And the other one there is just people again, which we don't really need. Uh, again, that's our food. No idea why we're looking at that. Yeah, we have no idea what to do with this oil at the moment.
we're still short of workers. We've got 40, 480, we need 600 to do anything else, so we can't add any more. But we can add the hydraulic pump jack, which we do do. Please dispatch gift boxes to the steward by post to avoid unnecessary queuing. Now, here is where I make a mistake, because I wanted to add an extra industrial building to try and get those vase items up. Uh, unfortunately, I kept clicking on the logistics building, and it wouldn't let me build it there for an obvious reason. Because that's not where you build a logistics building. But it had me confused, even to the point I think I did frost breaking to try and clear areas. And I just couldn't get it to build, because it wasn't the right building. So that was that was a me mistake, unfortunately. So yeah, yeah. So I'm gonna do some frost breaking for uh, actually no reason, except I do like the idea of getting to that uh, infinity supply, which turns out we need to do something else, and we'll find that out later. All this research and we can't afford any of it. Unfortunately everything uses the same resource cost. Heat stamps. I'm just checking out any, all the research to see if there anything jumps out as something useful we could do down the track. And there's a few, but it's not the easiest research tree to read, to be honest. adjust our transfers we can give us a bit more oil uh, 
uh, food. We can also make a little bit of a dent out. All right, so we should have our 75 fuel now. As soon as we do this transfer. And there it is, the new fuel fuel flows. Anticipation fills the air as the first transport of oil is sent to New London. Dream of a future without feeling cold. Fuel feels surreal. To make it happen, however, we will need to modify the generator to turn this black gold into heat. This will be irreversible. What future we build for ourselves will depend on it. We must decide. Chapter 2, Ambitions. Ambitions, Chapter 2. People cheer as oil reaches the city, but the question of what it means for our future remains. The years of suffering are coming to an end. Let us improve the generator further and pump oil until the snows of the city melt forever, shout the stalwarts leaders. However, the pilgrims disagree. What stalwarts want is hubris. New London won't last forever. The frost is our reality. We have to embrace it, venture forth, use oil to settle new homes in the white beyond. People look to you to decide the city's future. We can either defeat the frost or embrace the frost. Stalwarts will approve of this decision. Pilgrims will disapprove of this decision. Unlocks oil pump generator upgrade that uses only oil. Unlocks ability to exploit unlimited deep deposits. Pilgrim's feather is increased. While Pilgrims will approve of this decision, Stalwarts will disapprove of this decision. Unlocks adaptive pumps generator upgrade that uses any fuel. Unlocks unlimited output frostland settlements. Stalwart's feather is increased. So I think we'll end up, we end up going with we will defeat the frost. I like the idea of, I don't know what it was, deep deposits and using oil as opposed to any fuel. Defeat the frost, we first need to upgrade the generator with oil pumps to use the new fuel. Then we must research and further upgrade the generator with surplus injectors to make New London warmer than ever before. Newfound oil can also help us reach previously inaccessible deep deposits which will not run out. We may tap into them for the security of the city. Oil pumps generator upgrade is unlocked and available to be built. Melting deep deposits and generator upgrades research are unlocked. I see. Alright, so now we've got tasks on the side with an optional research mission and building a deep melting drill. So we want to do the optional deep melting drill, but unfortunately we can't afford it right at this moment. So we've got a new uh, building we can build. 
which goes on top of the generator or within the generator. But again, we can't afford it. Pouring ice on fire, growing radicalization. Steward, the growing fervor of certain groups in our city has become a cause for alarm. Agitators, rioters are, rile up tensions and push their factions to more radical and violent action. Provided we build enough prison space, our guards could place such militants in preventative arrest. Spell and detention would cool their heels and calm their fellows. Build prisons to use the roundup militants' districtability to lower faction fever. I see. Alright, can we afford it yet? No, still can't afford it. I've got to get a hundred. Alright, we've got our 100 heat stamps now, so we should be able to start this research, which we're going to do. Alright, this building is dead, let's get rid of that one. Do some frost breaking to get to some resources, especially the uh, infinite, the deep one. All right, rebuilding the generator to accept new types of fuel improves its capabilities. Generators have two development paths progress and adaptation. They are mutually exclusive, so after choosing one of the directions for the first generator upgrade, you can only develop technology in that direction. The generator has different types of fuel support depending on the chosen path. Adaptation supports all types of fuel, coal, oil, steam, and progress uses only oil, but much more efficiently. Generator burns fuel into heat. Efficiency in that process depends on the type of fuel. For example, one unit of oil always gives more units of heat than coal and the type of the generator. Uh, progress upgrades make oil give much more heat. Additionally, advanced upgrades of the generator give new actions that can be manually activated in the generator panel.
trying so hard to wait for the to get money for that building. So we're gonna have to kill this one as well in the other location because we've lost that. And if we build an extractor there, they're gonna complain about noise pollution and whatever else. So we should either get the oil or try and get the prefabs over the other side. Spencer Cohen, 52, foreman, back from the city store inspecting his weekly allocation. Let's see a bar of soap. Smells like shit. A hemp undervest. Itchy by the sheer look of it. Sucks I couldn't get any new socks. Ran out of allocation. Bollocks. What's the point of being a foreman if I get the same allocation as the line workers? Maybe if I slip the clerk a handful of heat stamps he'll find a pair of fresh socks lying around. And some better smelling soap maybe. The lack of a law regulating basic necessities is causing tension to rise throughout the city. Alright, I think we are cutting it there for this video. So, sorry about the microphone audio and what's going on, but, um, yeah, this shit happens sometimes, unfortunately. Uh, if you have any tips, tricks, advice, feel free to put it in the comments. Uh, and uh, if you are enjoying the content, please do consider subscribing. Hit that like button and check out the channel membership if you want to get uh, support the channel further and get early access to these videos. Say hi in the comments, let me know you're watching, I read all the comments and answer them all as soon as I possibly can. Hopefully you've enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and I will catch you in the next one.